What a mess, Priscilla. No matter what type of road vehicle it is, car, truck, military, it cannot stop a train, but it can derail one, which is exactly what happened in Collegedale, Tennessee, almost one year later. On December 20th, 2022, Norfolk Suburb Manifest train departed from Chicago, Illinois to its destination, which is in Pennsylvania. It had to go through Collegedale, Tennessee to get to its destination on time. The train consisted of three units. Norfolk Southern ET44AC, number 4067, leading, followed by Norfolk Southern SD78, 1058. The third unit was ET44C4, 3601. Up at a nearby crossing was a 137 feet concrete beam truck that got caught on the tracks. The Norfolk Southern crew was completely oblivious to the truck. But when they saw it, it was too late. What a mess, Priscilla. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. A local bystander saw the whole thing happen and recorded it. It was a mess. Rail cars piling up together. At one point in the video, you can see two grain cars completely destroy a tree. One of the scariest parts about this accident was a few feet apart from the railroad crossing was a bridge that had flowing river water. You can see the track bend down almost into the river. You can see 4067 and 1058 dodging the river. So in the end, the crew and the truck driver only suffered from minor injuries could have led to serious injury or even death. Now the main question of how this happened and why. Well most of blame was the truck driver and not the Norfolk Southern crew because it would have been impossible for them to stop in time. So that leads to the question of why the truck driver parked on the tracks. Well it wasn't really the case. A few feet across from the crossing was an intersection and the light was red. The truck driver didn't know about the train. Especially with the size of the truck, he couldn't do anything. Only thing he could do was sit there and wait for the light to turn green. There was also a petition started to wind out the road, so nothing like this could happen again. Kind of like the Fox River Grove accident, but that involved a school bus. In the end, 4067, 1058, and 3601 were all repaired and put back in the service and will still run to this day. Hopefully nothing like this will ever happen again.